Hey, this is Chris, and I am Chuck and Dice. I appreciate you watching my videos. If you are not already subscribed, I would appreciate you subscribing. I am uh, trying to get to 250 subscribers, and then I'm going to do a giveaway of some kind. Uh, but today I want to talk about something special, and uh, I wonder if you've heard of Crapless Craps. Uh, today I want to make a video just showing you Crapless Craps and showing you a strategy that I came up with to try to win big at this particular version of the game. So in case you don't know what crapless craps is, it, it's kind of exactly like it sounds. There is no craps numbers traditionally, uh, which means you cannot play the don't pass. It doesn't exist. On a crapless table, you would not see the don't pass bar. You would not see the don't come bar. Instead, you would see the 2, 3, and the 11 and 12 up on the place bets. You would see those at the end over on this side, I don't know if you can see that over here, but you'd see the two and the three. And over on the right side, next to the 10, you would see the 11 and 12. And those would be now uh, points that can be established. So on the come out roll, you could actually roll a two, three, 11, or 12, and that becomes the point instead of just being able to only have the point be a four, five, six, eight, nine, or 10. The trade off, obviously, you cannot play the dark side at all. And when you're playing uh, on a crapless table, if, let's say, the come out roll is a 12, then the 12 becomes the point, and you have to hit a 12 again. Yeah, you can't see that on my table. Let's move that down. So the 12 would become the point. You would have to hit the 12 again before you would be able to win your pass line. So it becomes a lot riskier to play the pass line. Now, I've come up with a strategy that I'm going to show you, but uh, I thought I'd just roll it out and see what happens. I'm going to, um, you know what, I actually, if I move, if I just take a little bit of the four, I think you can see that okay over here, the two and the three, and you can see the 11 and 12 over on this end, so I'm going to leave those right there, and let's just see how this goes. I've got a $300 bankroll here. And I'm going to play what I call the inside-out strategy for crapless tables. And it starts, I'm going to play the pass line only if I have to as a shooter. I'm going to play as three people, uh, two, two other people, and then myself as the shooter. When it comes around to my third roll, I'll be the shooter. But for now, I am going to uh, play as someone else, or I'm going to shoot the dice as someone that's not the shooter. So, or as not, yeah, anyway, hopefully you get my point. Uh, so let's just, I'm not placing a pass line, and I'm going to wait for a point to be established. Okay, that's going to be a 6, 2, 8. So 8 is the point. Now, I'm going to play 18 on the 6 and 18 on the 8. And that will win $21. And let me see if I can actually hit one of those, and then I'll show you what I do. My goal is to play the 2, 3, 11, and 12. By the way, I forgot to mention this earlier. The 3 and the 11 pay 3 to 1. The 2 and the 12 pay 6 to 1. So they play pay nicely. And I believe you do have to pay a VIG. Most places you play are going to make you pay a VIG on those outside numbers. But uh, I'm not going to worry about that today. Uh, you obviously will have a dollar there. Um, or higher, depending on how much money you put on those numbers. But for now, I'm going to play it just like this. And I start with this is inside out. I start with the, the two most probable numbers besides the seven that roll. And I'll add the outside numbers if I can. All right, that's going to be a six hard, hard six, three, three. And this is where it starts. So this is going to pay 21. I'm going to pocket the white chip. And I'm going to take $10 each and place the 3 and the 11. I'll just put those there. I think you can see that. Okay, so now I've got $10 each on the 3 and the 11, covering the inside numbers first and then the outer edge. The, the 3 and the 11 are obviously more likely to hit than the 2 and 12. Okay, what do we got here? That is clear up here, but I'm going to pull that out. That is a 5. So we have a five, three, eight. All right. So the eight is going to win 21. I'm going to pocket the one and I'm going to take the 
$20. I'm going to place 10 on the 2 and 10 on the 12. Now I've got the outside numbers covered. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn these inside numbers off. Now that I've hit them enough to cover the outside, I'm going to, this 36 at risk on the 6 and 8, I'm going to leave it off for now. And I've exchanged that for $40 risk on the 2, 3, 11, and 12, trying to hit big on the outside. Now my thought is that a craps number is going to come at least once every once in a while. Doesn't come all the time. Certainly you can not hit them ever, but there's a good chance somewhere in a medium sized roll, one of those craps numbers is going to show up. There's a, there's a five, three, eight. I did turn my uh, six and eight off. I'm off on the inside right now, exchanging that risk for the, uh, the outside numbers looking for a hit on the outside. That is a four, one, five. Nine, six, three. I need one of those outside numbers to hit. And that's going to be a hard six. I'm still off on these inside numbers. Six and eight are off. Looking for a hit on the outside. Not going to happen. That's five, two, seven. All right. So I just lost the numbers or the money that I had won placing the six and eight. So I did not lose $40 technically. What I lost was just the number, the money that I had won placing the six and eight. So we're off and these are going to be off on the come out. So I'm just going to show you that. I'll leave it off like that. So you know what's going on. And I'm going to, this is the shooter. This will be shooter number two. Still not playing a pass line because I'm not shooting at this point. Here we go. Point is going to be 10. That's a 6 4. All right, now we are working just like normal on those 6 and 8. And we got a 6 hard. And that's going to be a $21 winner. And I'm going to pocket the dollar. And I'm going to place the 11 and the 3. And looking for one more hit on the inside. And we got a 6, 5, 1. Good deal. Not always going to happen, but uh, that's what you're hoping for. Just two hits and off on the inside. So I'm going to take the dollar. And I'm going to place the 2. And I'm going to place the 12. Now these inside bets go off again. Now I'm just... Looking for a horn number. And it's an 862. Not going to do anything for me. I am off. And 628 again. It's always the risk. You're going to keep hitting those inside numbers. There's a 10. That is the point. Now, here is something I wanted to discuss. So I'm glad I hit the point. I don't have anything on the pass line. But I did hit a point. So what I'm going to do now on the come out, I'm going to go ahead and work the outside numbers. I'm still going to leave the six and eight off, but I'm looking for a hit here. And I don't want to waste the chance that one of those horn numbers is going to come on the come out. So I'm going to work the two, three, 11 and 12, but I'm leaving the six and eight off. Here we go. All right. And that is a five, three. This happens when you're playing with not playing the inside numbers. They obviously are going to hit more frequently than the outside numbers. Still looking for a horn number here. Ah, not going to happen. That's a four, three, seven, seven out. And once again, we lose the 40 that we had won on the inside. Not what you'd like to see happen, but that is the way it goes. So now we are on to our third shooter, and that is going to be me. So now this shooter, I will place. Uh, I'll place a pass line bet. I'm going to place ten dollars, and now that's the only addition to this strategy. If you're the shooter, you're going to play ten dollars on the pass line, or whatever the minimum is. You can adjust this to the table minimum if you want. All right, dice are up. All right, we have a seven, come out seven. 
So we're off on these just like we normally would be if we're coming out. So that's going to be a $10 winner. And we have an eight, five, three. Eight is the point. And now we are working on those just like we always would. Now we need another two hin inside hits. And there's that 12. Boxcars, Midnight. I don't have anything on it right now, so that doesn't do me any good. And <laughs> Ace... Deuce, three, two, one. Again, nothing there. Not the time I wanted to hit those, but that is how it goes sometimes. And there's a 10, six, four. Not hitting those inside numbers now. That's starting to concern me. It's a third roll without hitting the six or an eight. And there's a yo, another outside. I've hit three of the four outside numbers without having anything on them. That's not going to help me or hurt me here. I need a six or an eight. And not going to happen. Seven out. That was not what you want to see. Didn't even hit it once. I'm going to leave those there. Um, that is 36 that I lose. So I'm going to just... 10, 20, 30, 35, and 36 just to keep that... Uh, keep it out there. It is off on the come out. Oh, and I do lose the pass line also. Oh, you know what? I just realized I messed that up. Uh, let's see. The come out was a 7, and then I rolled a 12. So that I, should have, I should have stopped and talked about that. The 12 would have been the point, and I never hit it twice. I hit the 12, the 3, the 11, and then I... Uh, yeah, then I hit the 7, I believe. So the 12 was the point. I missed that. Sorry about that. But uh, that would have lost the pass line bet. And I just replaced the 36, although that's off on the come out. So let's, uh, let's see if we can see if we can make something happen here. I haven't been able to show you how it works when you hit one of those outside numbers. Looking for, look for a come out point. 5, 3, 2, 5. All right, so five is the point. Now the six and the eight are on, and we need to hit those those inside numbers. There's a four, two, six. Good deal. Hit that six. That's going to pay 21. And I will place the three. And the yo 11. Looking for one more hit. Six, five, one. Good deal. All right. That is going to be a $21 winner. And I'll take the one and I'll place the two and the three. Now I'm going to turn the inside numbers off again. Looking for a horn. Nine, Nina. Center field nine. That's not going to do anything for me. Come on. Hit those horn numbers. Four, two, six. We're off right now on those numbers. Hard eight, not gonna help us right now. That's not this strategy. All right, here we go, ace deuce. Got that two, one, three going on. All right, so $10 pays three to one. That's gonna be a $25, $30 winner. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull down the three. At this point, I'm just gonna collect my winnings and call that good. Uh, the odds of hitting it again on the same shooter are minimal, so I'm gonna take my profit and run, and that's a 639. You could leave it up, considering that bet's paid for if you wanted to go that route. I'm just gonna suggest that the odds are against that, paying off twice on the same shooter. So my goal is to hit it once, then pull it down. I still have the two 11 and 12 up and working. Let's hit one of those numbers. That's another hard eight. Not going to do anything for me. And there's a five, three, eight. Hit it hard. Hit it easy. Doesn't matter right now. We are off on those inside numbers. Let's hit another horn number here. There's a five, one, six. 
doing what you're supposed to do, pounding those inside numbers. This strategy is not about that, although you could leave them all working on the inside if you want to. There's the ace deuce. <laughs> what I say about turning it off. I don't have the ace deuce. I turned it off, took it down, collected my winnings and ran. Not the horn number I was looking for. There's a four, three, one, four. Come on, I need to hit that yo, or hit that two or 12 where it pays six to one. Let's go. And we got a five. Five is the point. Four, one. I don't have anything on the pass line, so we are off on the come out here and working on the outside. So the two, three, and 12 are all working, looking for another come out, looking for another point. We got a six. Five, one. And we got a three, one, four. Need to hit another one of those outside numbers. Let's go. There's a hard eight. And we got a five, four, one, five. Pound on the inside. Not good for this strategy. And there's a four, one, five again. And a nine, Nina, six, three, center field, nine. Come on, when's one of those outside numbers going to hit? Let's go. Six, four, two. <sighs> Should have left those on. Didn't. Here we go. Oh, we got a 12 box cars, midnight. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. That 12 is going to pay six to one. The dice rolled there. That was a six, six. And that 12 is going to pay 6 to 1. That means we got a $60 winner. And like I said, I'm going to pull down the 12 because I did hit the 12. And we're going to call that good. Now I just got the 2 and the Yo 11 still up in play. And we can hit those anytime, right? There's a 9, 5, 4. Five, four, one. I didn't hit the six, did I? I don't. Maybe I did. I don't know. Now I'm confused. Maybe I did hit that six. And there's a six, one, seven. Wouldn't have made a whole lot of difference because I was keeping these off and working the outside numbers anyway. But there's a seven that ends the uh, ends the round. I'm gonna lose the two and the eleven because those were on and working. I had the inside numbers off. So I actually get to keep the $18 each here. And let's just take a look at where we are. This is kind of what I've been thinking about with this strategy because I don't feel like that was less. I think I did four shooters. Those weren't necessarily four great rounds. Uh, one of them was okay. And I think I only hit the outside numbers. I think I hit the three and the 12 just that last time. So I certainly wasn't good at making that happen. But let's see where we ended up. See, that's 275, and here's 100 here, so that's 375, and some white chips. 10, 375, 85, 90, 95, 397. So I made 97 bucks, and really because the 12 hit once, but my goal was to only have two hits on the inside, then get out on the 2, 3, 11, and 12 where it pays 3 to 1 and 6 to 1 and hope for at least one of those hits. I pulled that down. Obviously, I could have got paid on the 3 twice. If you remember that 3 hit back or hit uh, back to back on the same shooter, I believe. So I could have had another $30 win there, but I pulled it down. And, you know, I always leave the outside numbers up at this point in my head. I haven't played this way for real, but on my uh, fake crapless table here, uh, when I've been practicing, I leave the uh, 2, 3, 11, and 12 working. If I hit a point on the inside, I go ahead and leave them working because I don't want to miss the chance that those hit on the come out because they hit so rarely anyway. And I'm using house money to place those bets. I don't want to lose them because I left them turned off on the come out rule. So I'm going to always work the 2, 3, 11, and 12. And uh, I don't know. Uh, something I was playing around with. I wanted to show the crapless table anyway. So I hope you enjoyed this video. And uh, 
Let me know what you think. We'll see you next time.